And now, get ready for the premiere of Beverly Hills 90211 podcast. Join us now as we kick off the show with Joel Harkum, Jeremy Lucas, Deesis Gaggin, live for an hour and a half. In this podcast, 30 talented actors banding together. Watch as they create their characters and bring the story to life, with the end result of being a movie. Don't miss out on the excitement. So yeah, here we are. I did it. I did it. Alright guys. So you guys first want to introduce ourselves, three of, three of us, like how long uh, you guys are. Yeah, I'll yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. You guys go first. Um. You guys, you want to go first? Yeah, I'll start. Right. So hi, I'm Jeremy Lucas, as the handsome announcer just uh, pointed out, and um, I've traveled with a circus, I've been a practicing clown for nine years, and I'm currently in school to learn how to uh, write for film and direct for film. And Gaggin? What about you? Yeah, yeah. Alright <laughs> All right, guys, so I'll, I've been acting for over eight to ten years. I'm in Northern California for a while. I just recently moved to Southern California probably a year and a half ago. Been, I, I have a lot of up and downs as, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, everybody knows the cut. You know? right. Yeah, I mean, like, you guys are just to be central casting? Yeah, a little bit here and there. Yeah. Uh, more of a casting networks kind of guy, but yeah. still, still getting my foot work in that so uh you just started so uh, yeah. basically like uh screen acting i've been doing it less than a year and I'm, you? I'm not so yeah so um yeah i'm joel and i've been acting for 30 years <laughs> oh wow congrats <laughs> um is I, I, so um <laughs> let's see uh yeah i've been uh in some big films <laughs> okay. and um also i am a filmmaker so um i was uh, my first film i finished in um around um uh, uh 2000 and then uh, yeah I made like I write together made a film now it's called um, We Are Doing the Wizard of Oz the movie check it out um, it's three weeks also I'm doing um, uh, Catherine Shark's picture play comedy reel <laughs> it's uh, skits it's like a comedy like uh, 20 minutes so I'm talking about if you, when, when, when you say uh, films are you talking about short films or are so, you talking yeah, about like so, full length films yeah um, I've been doing feature films, feature three, films. and this uh, then I was doing also some TV shows uh, Shark's picture play comedy reel oh, okay. it's a tv show so and then um and then uh, doing uh yeah so i'm writing i act together i make everything except the money <laughs> <laughs> uh, i get that <laughs> so yeah so we just got to keep trying my friend said before jeremy you said earlier try you don't try you know exactly yeah, exactly i mean like, if you won't try we no you have to put yourself out there yeah. if you don't take the risk That's why i like to be risque so like you guys all looked at the character i think you guys go better than um first you guys saw the list, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was uh, reading over it earlier. Um, I don't fully know yet. I'd have to sit on the uh, the story for like a couple of seconds longer just to kind of... So I'm still uh, I'm still contemplating that. It's kind of like a process. Of... And uh, me, I'm... Uh, George was telling me I'm playing Steve. So these other Steve. guys. Is that... Is that... I don't know. That's... No, not these ones. These are... So, yeah, um, name of so like, speaking of... The... Speaking so, Gagan, what about you? What's okay. your... All right. So, like, uh, this what's your is... character? So, like, yeah. Tell us. Oh, uh, yeah. Since I was... you were here yesterday, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I was here yesterday. Yesterday we had came in yesterday we broke down some nice character sheets from the character sheet and uh, we had uh, times yesterday we were talking about real estate and zombie killer imagine that <laughs> oh, walking, <yeah. laughs> walking into a walking into a house going there for uh, inspection and the zombies just start coming at you it's like oh man this is gonna hurt the resale value <laughs> <we> sounds <laughs> like Los Angeles <laughs> Honestly, cool. right. come on so I am I am actually uh, going I actually uh, for the professional gamer so uh, I don't want I don't want to give it out how I want, how I actually wanted to uh, because we're not. I don't want to give it out how I pictured that professional gamer as is. But we came down with a couple of notes. <laughs> it's pretty, and it is like by end of the day. But eventually it gets uh, by. Uh, you guys know about the scenario how how we how we end up in a copy. Uh, Please tell us because I think I'm the robot. You are, I am the robot. Steve. You, you guys you guys know about it? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, reading the synopsis earlier. So essentially, it's a, a Geppetto-like character yeah. who builds only yeah. have a broken machine. Yeah, system. rather than having a broken with Voodoo. We actually made this trash can a Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like me. <laughs> yeah. Very good. And uh, we actually started talking to him. I'm like, so like, sure, this guy is a robot. What can we, how can we abuse it? <laughs> oh, it's, it's one of those step trash cans too, so you can make the mouth move May, up and make down. Make the mouth move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real boy! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's that's what we really talked about yesterday was a whole lot of fun with other... Uh... I guess since it's uh, somewhat of an homage to Pinocchio, I could uh, just come in as a clown character. Uh, Number two, because uh, Pinocchio has a whole side story where he joins um, the, the, uh, the beard uh, Stromboli, Stromboli. To, uh, so you guys, you guys didn't pick any of the 
Which one right here? Organization is key. I don't want anyone else to succeed around here. Let me see all of that. See? Guess to uh, fill the dead space, I'll tell some terrible jokes. What happens to cheese when it works out? Maybe we'll be honest. Uh, oh, okay, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> he gets jacked. That's the end. Oh, here we go. Bow hunter, oh. mastermind criminals, and here's the one that I've all right. more Excellent. characters on there. So you guys even even but we're like, I don't want to put you guys on the spot right now, you know. But this is not like uh, set solid right now, so I mean. Does um do um paid more for being different or? Uh, yeah, I'm com- joking. I'm joking. Composition. I'm not. Go on, us. answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish we were. <laughs> I would love to take Ghost Rider to a literal sense. Like, oh, let me write your story. <laughs> Gross Rider, you know the, the comic, <laughs> the character. No, you guys is going too With Nicolas far Cage. Out. Howdy, howdy. Uh, we don't know. Sorry, okay, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Imaginary friend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I, I relate to it because it'd be nice to have a friend. So you know what? I'll be the imaginary one. Yeah, we were. We had. A, we had somebody want to be a psychologist. Uh, psychologist, like the uh, girl, you know, somehow robot having a machine pick up human like feelings. There were some how we should have. What was other characters? In- I mean, you guys saw that on the list, Mastermind? Yeah, there's, uh, there's so many of them on there. I mean, you guys could just... I know, like, you guys just saw the list today, which the same about, like... What about mean, this one? Key writer. A first fortune. person who writes fortune. So, like, <laughs> this is, this is like, we were having a conversation about the fortune cookie, how uh, Bart walks into a... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's, that makes sense. That's yeah, good. That's and good he just, like, comes up with uh, random random things and shoving it into the fortune <laughs> cookie, like, every day. <laughs> and every day, this robot comes in, and he spins it and reads it, and he wonders... In his head, like what's gonna happen? Because obviously, robot is a robot. He's <laughs> like, hey man, I found my match. Finally, <laughs> finally, <laughs> coming together. All coming together. Yeah. What else can we talk? So, Gagan, so, tell us what do you want to. Oh, I I already said about the things like, of course, the professional gamer, and we already talked about what I was gonna gonna lay it out right now because if I tell it, <laughs> <laughs> all right, good idea. <laughs> so uh, leave uh, a little mystery. Leave a little mystery. Let's just say like by end of the thing, shooting down the robot, but he gets up again and how it leads to that the most sus- suspicious things is that he gets up how and why he gets up do you know he's a robot when you shoot and him or yeah because I already know because I'm freaking out oh, okay. All right. <laughs> you know I'm like what the hell is he's this? looking at the holes huh thank god he missed the red wire <laughs> <laughs> he missed the red wire he's supposed to be red and the black and the pink <laughs> diffuse a <the> bomb <laughs> god, just... hi <laughs> so you look lonely almost like sarcastic but like it's still you genuine are... but on the border of being sarcastic what do you guys what do you guys think about this uh, UFO investigator? You think like we should have something you think, like in like investigator coming into a coffee shop trying to make copies and uh, he freaks out he's a robot working and uh, so he's like oh shit you know I'm a UFO as a UFO investigator so looking at a robot at the same time the investigations and he just like pauses and he's like how would he react towards it? Uh, it's out there when like the truth is right in front of me it's like ah no you're no just he me. just like walks in there he just like walks into the coffee shop and then he does first he just just like, ah, oh, he's just probably, he just like in his head, just ignoring him. It's probably just a guy with a costume. Really Some re- cosplay weirdo. A cosplay weirdo. As soon as he walks out, he realizes, oh, sure, he looks more real. You know, he sees something uh, on his body saying like, hey, man. It, but he inst- running and started a uh, you know, day or two. Like every two hours he comes in or every other day he comes in to uh, investigate and just to see. Like, so spirit. what do you think of all these characters? Well, <clears throat> we also were thinking about uh, having a... Ha- I could actually see that. Um, having that, having him human life walking around called like a machine for some reason when you were talking about the fashion designer i imagine like they're so into themselves that instead of having put it on his head shorts him out for a yeah. second <laughs> uh, we got we got the same list okay. i you love the concept of a yeah, crop sure. circle artist too because honestly that's just that's great craft behind it you know appreciate what i do they just they say it's aliens no it's been me this entire time speaking of aliens that entire time in there uh you know you know uh some uh, human life i can imagine uh the priest like putting on him <laughs> and like really shorts him out. He's so like, whoa, he's got a lot of demons on. Better put more on. <laughs> <laughs> Humanity. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> grave robber. Ooh. Maybe he, uh, speaking of grave robber, maybe he just go around at nighttime and start robbing graves. And I don't know, he just, he's a robot and he can't really be a human and sleep and sit out every night. Grave, investigate more humans like what? Maybe he's thinking is that maybe that's how he's going to end up like. But he's a machine. Interesting to introduce because um, he wouldn't just be like, okay, well, 
time to find a graveyard to figure this out. Like, I yeah. think, say, he's walking down the street and he sees someone get shot. He's just fascinated with it because the person stopped. He learns that it's taboo because he can't really be seen. He's just, uh, he's not even grave robbing. He's just... Sure, it's a grave. In yeah, yeah. There has a paranormal, paranormal investigation. <laughs> Realize that he only knows humans walking into a copy of machine. What are these? And he starts. Um, so, see, is, uh, your, uh, yeah. you would ask questions. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is, what's huh? wrong with you? Uh, it's <laughs> meat. It's meat. I it's saw cat. you. What's yeah. the difference? <laughs> <laughs> there just is, okay? <laughs> it freaks it. out. <laughs> like a lady walking the dog. You gonna eat that? <laughs> It yeah. just keeps walking. Is that a hot yeah. dog? <laughs> yeah, like he walks around and he gives a give him the lady and the dog a killer look. <laughs> hot dog, hot, hot dog. Need food. Uh, yeah, there you go, hot, hot dog. We could hot have dog. a little like hot dog machine, like uh, uh, like a stand right next to it where the lady walks, and then he's thinking, dog. dog. You can see oh, the hot dog. Oh. You can see the happening right there. <laughs> Imagining it is that. You could have a character say, "Can I get a dog?" Can I get a dog? That could be a little comedic. They're on the. Pr uh, they're practically out of business because yeah. they haven't been able to therapize any robots. So finally, <laughs> oh, thank God, finally some business. Yeah. <laughs> and they're still a terrible robot therapist, though. So. You see that as... Have you tried sleeping over? Cyborg <laughs> designer? You guys have any thoughts about that? Like, you know, like, coming back conversation that we had earlier, like, he works in all you dressing he, up in a coffee shop. He uses like clay. He uses clay. <laughs> he, like, all right, well, you don't have human features, so... Yeah. But it's like, like but, he just puts yeah. Play-Doh on. Put, Play maybe put, maybe, maybe have... I don't know. Any store, because uh, the security... Uh, uh, the metal detectors the metal. just their shit over him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of speaking of that, so maybe I could be dog. Yeah, who kill a dog. Part of he, he goes to the graveyard. He was graveyard. trying to get the parts. Human, parts. human body. That'd be, that'd be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, many ways. Yeah. I these. thought of, uh, I just saw a hypnotist, and I thought it'd be funny if he's trying to hypnotize a robot, but because of his reflective surface, <laughs> he just ties himself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just falls asleep. <laughs> and that's not that's not really a bad idea. Be more human. Human light, you know, yeah. after getting all that grave <laughs> magically. <laughs> Oh my goodness! No. So um, <laughs> when he's uh, when he's grave robbing, he uh, comes to find an interesting uh, discovery: male anatomy. <laughs> Dad, what's this? <laughs> no, 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 oh, is that it. real? Yeah. There you go. I mean, speaking of speaking Chops of that, what do you call it? nunchucks? Uh, speaking, of, speaking, of, speaking, of, speaking of that, speaking of that, there could be another comedic scene like that. He tries out all these different body parts, and he mixes it up with a man and a woman, playing around with all that, and then eventually he ends up. He can his leg over backwards here. Can put or, the arms down yeah. he thinks the penis is the nose yeah <laughs> you know and then we could have a little comedic scene happening right there like that you know that is no i'm this no i relate myself gross but it'd be fun oh yeah <laughs> that's half the fun of it I, I, <laughs> Uh, um, well, I used to, a lot of years of being clown, and um, let's see, I've uh, I've convinced seventy people at one point to lick my index finger. That was a while. <laughs> um, uh, to at uh, one of the haunts I've worked, I've had a pig fetus, like a literal fetus of a pig. That is, uh, <laughs> you you feel things after that. You feel <laughs> so many new emotions that you didn't know about before. Uh, and then I uh, eat a cockroach. I've been partially drowned for fun before. <laughs> I've done what? some stupid shit. It's great. It's all at Seventeenth Store. It's amazing. <sighs> Done some things. Yeah. Well, I can slow down, huh? Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm getting slightly older. I'm like, okay, can't do as many crazy things. <laughs> uh, I mean, no regrets on my end, but I'm sure a lot of the people I've interacted with <laughs> just did cut, you cut any hair. Or yeah, I did. Good? I was shaving eyebrows, but the thing oh, yeah, is, yeah. I'm playing a blind character, so I have to feel their face and feel their head. Then I just get the shaver and just go at it. Wow. Like, I, I commit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you think it was their head, or you knew it was their eyebrows? Oh yeah, I knew. I, I could see perfectly fine. Oh, okay. But I was wearing the uh, the John Lennon sunglasses with the cop shading, so like it's just like yeah, it was. People would get so mad. Oh, you shaved my head. Well, you sat in my chair. What am else might supposed to do. No, you just not know that I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a good look at you and just start touching their face. Yeah. It's uh, more like a feeling barber. <laughs> yeah, it feels about right. Realism <laughs> can be funny still. All right. So, um, let's see. Uh, I love the concept of dream interpreter. So it's essentially, I had a nightmare last night. Was it something like this? And then just like spontaneously start dancing. <laughs> no, no, it was a little bit more aggressive. Oh, you mean like, well, what do you get? they don't have to be a dancer. They don't oh, have okay. to be good at oh, it. Okay. All right. <laughs> They're an interpreter, you Go know? Go faster. 
yeah. <laughs> Interpreters. Slower. It's it's up to the interpretation. So right. you know, okay. it's your own uh, solar system realtor. Hey, he's trying to save the environment. <laughs> All of you owe me rent. <laughs> the entire planet. No one's paid. Do uh, do. I see exotic pet groomer and it's like there's a there's this movie called Free. Uh, I've seen at, that. I've seen it. Oh, it's love a great that. movie. Yeah. Thirty thousand dollars. That was like what nineteen forties, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, different okay. film. Different oh, all right. Film. Okay. Sorry. No, it was uh, it was I'll the nineties. Uh, okay. It was a 90s uh, comedy with a uh, Keanu of... Reeves is in it? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Brother worked on that. It was really? on the uh, Panieri. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love right. that film. But there was this one scene, as soon as I see Exotic Pet Groomer, I remember the scene of the petting zoo. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, that's why I think when I see Exotic Pet Groomer, I just think of just like... <laughs> Well, not necessarily sexualize the animals, but for the sake of comedy. But now we have a uh, street artist. Yes, yes. Let's move past the first. Person, <laughs> <Great. laughs> street and is that a like beauty artist? But his like weapon of choice is chalk, okay. <laughs> like a kid chalk, you know, with the colors and everything. I'm thinking it washes creative. off in the rain. When I first saw the street artist, he more like oh, like a robot person, or, a robot person. Oh, yeah. okay. Got or it. a Batman person, like on Hollywood. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Hollywood yeah. Boulevard, like a Spider-Man. <laughs> the stars. Okay. Because um, I'll go down Hollywood Boulevard doing whatever character work I'm doing yeah. like you know clown or you know whatever because <laughs> that's how they make their money and I'm doing yeah, it for right. free like yeah come on over I'm having a good time yeah. <laughs> just walking over and stealing people's jobs real quick that's that's what I was thinking uh, maybe as for now oh okay, okay. maybe this robot guy all he wants to do is be more I really yeah. do like that idea yeah. because he could put himself in the public in yeah. a safe space and, and people see how just, people react they're assuming he's a character of well, that's a good pay, him. Yeah. pay him money so all Take the threat photos. Is, oh. pay him photos yeah exactly <laughs> get all this that's money true. oh okay <laughs> <laughs> sure, you gotta get off. <laughs> you can make a scene about that. You get like a couple of them, you know? Batman, Spider Man, Dude's <laughs> coming. Guy. Yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> you should see my clown collection. Oh, I got a lot of them. Uh, it's uh, one of those um, really old. No, why? It's either like a turn on for like two or three notes. Change? I don't know. I well, don't at, least, care. at least you get some noise. Entertaining when it happens. Like heart rate up, you know? <laughs> Feel alive again. <laughs> the sound, so then you can play it whenever you want. Never felt more alive than when I was haunted. The house realtor. Well, uh, just, I guess I just put this well, stuff well, over here. Well, um, Still, to with right electrolytes. Are there ideas that you guys have? You guys think? Or, um, of course, I mean, it's going to <clears throat> but still, you know, like how, I mean, like, we all read the character list, you know, like, yeah, I mean, like, we, we, all, okay. we all, we all read the character list. We know how, what it is. Is there more characters that you guys could bring to the table? So, I mean, like, the way, the, only, the, the reason I say that is as an everyday life liver, um, uh, one thing I've always had to remember as a writer, if you, um, a story, a story can use a lot of characters. The more things you throw into it, it gets mm -hmm. more muddied. So you have the main frame of the story still needs to be. So if you throw too many characters in and too many one-off things, it just becomes instead mm -hmm. of a evolving story. Cause like the whole grave robbing thing, I think that's a, uh, the whole learning as he goes kind of thing. And maybe speaking of that grave robbing thing, maybe he, the way he is and makes another robot rather than, uh, rather than out of scenery, he makes a robot out of and makes it work. <laughs> you know, just right, rather having that. What's that metal, phrase? A metal jerry rig? Moving, me, metal moving they have. It's all electronically done just to make it. Right now, I'm just shooting what's coming right. in my head. So. I think it would be interesting. Yeah, I guess, like uh, <coughs> Jeremy was saying, we need to we could always add characters after on her, when yeah. you go on. As far as story is concerned, I see it, you know, and this is just like lame, lame. Coming in the shop, he sees that they're all reacting in a very uh, yeah. negative. I'm going to add on what you said. That was really good. We have that uh, designer. He hides himself with all has five sweatshirts. Five sweatshirts. <laughs> you know, it's like really hot outside and he's like, man, oh, and he's yeah. like people, sunglasses. Yeah. Um, yeah. Humanity is world. So why is he, he's embarrassed now being a robot? I mean, uh, he would learn shame because the people coming into the shop. Because he's tired of being cushioned. So amazed and surprised by this. Excited. Excited. Oh, look. Ah, what's this? Yeah, that's her too. <laughs> no, no uh, we don't have a name for this Geppetto. No, 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 no that's the no, boy. Yeah, yeah. Name is he, just Geppetto. He's talking about what's his, do we have a name for him? Or are we just going to call him Geppetto? Yeah, let's just call him Geppetto. Geppetto. Okay. Yeah, and that's to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, after Geppetto scolds him for the whole uh, human body parts harvesting, he uh, he feels bad. So one day he's uh, he's walking down the street, just kind of contemplating on it. You know, like an electronics store. All of the parts are just like, because he was just taught about shop. That's basically essentially. I don't know what he would do though. Would he steal from them? Um, would he? No. No, he would. He would <clears throat> see. I don't. Maybe he's terrified walking into. Yeah, he's <laughs> terrified. You know, because he had to see all these computer parts and stuff. And he's like, uh, early Mac, <laughs> you know, I don't know, you know, like comes up, maybe you don't know, like how they have those displays with Thor, not what he's seen. 
But he's a robot. He doesn't have feelings. I mean, on, left right? up. But he's almost trying to be a human. Yeah. So and the helping. Doesn't emotions. Pinocchio become a human or something? Uh, yeah, he gets his wish granted at the end. Oh, yeah. But really um, okay. I think this would be fun to kind of explore that because there's got to be a certain uh, suspension of dis a uh, shop owner is right. Like, so I think like we're this is not based in reality. Let's be honest. Well, with I'm ourselves. saying like a we robot. To... It's like a toaster, you know. But <laughs> I mean, we also any uh, we, uh, no we solar system realtors either. So I mean, I feel like there there's some. Well, room you go to Costco. They're selling. Uh, <laughs> Come on. You caught me there. Come on, man. You caught me that there. One. All right, fair. You, know, you got me. Sorry. <laughs> 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 but I, I honestly don't think it would be a problem to explore minor feelings between, between him. Like, hearing everything out as he I goes. I mean, you can give him feelings. I'm Ooh, not saying I have another, it could be another, his app uh, or... <coughs> another, you know, another maybe he's route. programmed to have feelings. I have another route. He's living the normal life, what we know of, But he also has secret life, you know, <laughs> where he's out of the... Yeah, maybe he has a secret plan that he... The I, thing, was, you know? I was thinking the yeah. same John exact Carpenter. thing. John Carpenter. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, There's like an alien. Oh, apparently all he's this, been uh, busy. <laughs> yeah, well, he's been busy. He's been working <laughs> underground. He dig a God getting all hole. the parts <laughs> <laughs> he dig the goddamn hole underneath the ground now he walks in he works in you know <laughs> oh my gosh I could see him easily becoming a drug peddler too <laughs> think about it because he has the mind to process those kind of things but not necessarily the concept of he does so, not know that so yeah. he would probably know how to make some form of uh, street drug and, and like, that, that, <laughs> that gets him the money for the nighttime stuff so go. he can also cause ah, yeah exactly yeah. cause he doesn't really he's right. learning as he goes he sees the positivity of him receiving cash for this object yeah but. because he needs to he needs to live the he understood the concept of how to live like humanity because we know we need, he he needs, need to get he, a job but not he, selling drugs yeah but not selling drugs <laughs> but he does it he does it and he probably does it really well too he probably does it really well and he <laughs> made a little, name's robot man <laughs> he made a little he made a he made a robot. he made a little fortune out of it going out of the ship <laughs> i could just imagine geppetto calling it oh you're building a ufo well no it's a spaceship it's it's identified it's identified <laughs> 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 it registered with the state. <laughs> it's an IFO, if anything. <laughs> uh, just in case your shop turns down and I go out of business, I got somewhere to go. <laughs> That's why the electric bill has been so high. <laughs> <laughs> he walks in it. He walks in his underground. Now I know where all those <laughs> machines went to. Computer parts went to. Parts. Shapes. Oh, the toilet. Oh no, it makes sense now. Ah. Oh, no, uh, you see those arms made out of toilet. Uh, <laughs> Those plumbing pipe pipes. pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm for. I'm for that. The uh, he would uh be brought to life, slowly learns in the shop, then has to get out into the world. And should he run away from home at some point, or do you think he feels safe in the shop? We haven't really talked about Geppetto's character. For maybe how he reacts. To maybe him. he's not being treated. Of course, he's not being treated equal because of then he went, but then he realizes that he was. In also, we can see how uh, the robot has different types of characters. Ignore it. Realizes that the freeway. He runs a copy <laughs> shop. He he runs a literal copy shop. So he probably puts out like a billion posters. Yeah, and maybe <laughs> panhandle and, and he is like you know like in a machine language. <laughs> so so a counter to that idea. The he he runs away from home eventually and you know stays out on his own. You remember uh, what was that? Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, where um he goes to the island. Of what if like the robot discovers something similar, living under one bridge, like <laughs> one's like one of those type to text machines he <laughs> it's runs like it all started back in 73 he runs, <laughs> runs into a dead circus city <laughs> yeah yeah exactly that's great yeah and like radio a, shack radio shack yeah. there you go and it's just like Fries all the electronics <laughs> all the robots of yesteryear and they yeah. all just live there now yeah. just like a little fire and it is like roasted saying, marshmallows we survive come with us you're not alone <laughs> it's a windows 98 machine i survive why do you the, uh, the island of it's a like, circuit city. <laughs> we could have it like in one shopping center by Radio Shack in hell. Or, go. <laughs> or is he in heaven? I'm in is heaven. this heaven or hell? Is Either way. I'm in heaven. <laughs> Chicken make myself smarter. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, wasn't I just at the graveyard the other day trying to be more human now? All of a sudden, I'm at a crap shop. <laughs> he's a teenager, you know? Yeah. He's just figuring himself out. You know, he's going to have a phase, a different phase yeah. every week. On update. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> it's just human. Yeah, After like, everything, just like make it the most underwhelming. Yeah. 
He's got the software. He keeps up oh. and he finally gets it. <laughs> where he's kind of your software idea. turned into hardware. The hardware <laughs> turned into hardware. You're a real boy now. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man. I like I like where it goes. So uh, what else did you guys talk about on the show? Uh, we were after just the talk, characters. Yeah, we just after the characters and how can we bring a more real life story into the because so okay. also uh, uh, yeah he I know, he's and then we're supposed uh, he's, to like he's write, playing Geppetto right? Oh yeah. nice. Yeah. And we're supposed to play like yes. so no one's uh, talking about that or that's where gamer scene comes in okay. so i come in here uh, and no i'm just, <laughs> no, I'm just i didn't like, want to yeah it just it just it, yeah the, it's, it just owner with yeah it's just a little conversation like a couple of lines it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't need to be yeah. it doesn't need to be no well the idea is we want to be eric yeah at least for yeah. a minute it because it's a quick conversation and you want to like say something one word one, uh, okay. one word here one word there maybe we could just do that and also uh, i wanted to throw in the other idea you remember how we were talking about all yeah. that uh toys from circuit city it's like let's find ourselves a new life on mars or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, like, he goes around shopping, he has an income. And then, Hope uh, he pays taxes. <laughs> and then, uh, the final boss actually is, like, one of the Mars rovers, like, the original Viking or something. Ooh, like, when, like, you know, speaking of that <laughs> final boss, maybe he come up with some type of a robot. When you were saying he, uh, he starts killing Geppetto, I just imagined Geppetto no, no, on the floor. He's like, ah, you're killing me! No, that, <laughs> that, yeah, that, that's the bad robot. Yeah, that yeah. Been working on. I think, like, that's, that should be, uh, be another, uh, emotional moment of a robot saying, papa, papa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Here, let's hear your papa. <laughs> papa, papa. Oh, I love that. That's papa. great. <laughs> and do it as a robot, too. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> there it is. Pa, 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 pa. We got it. <laughs> pa, pa, pa. pa. <laughs> that could be a little action scene, right? And, and then he cancels the whole moving out of the scenario, and he see, yeah, and he sees himself more human-like because he builds feelings about himself. And um, uh, to imagine up a scene uh, when we walk into the shop and meet Geppetto right. and then the uh, right. Steve. That's um, what I was trying to say. Well, yeah. Oh, okay, fine. I guess I'll go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea right now. So yeah, what, would, <laughs> what would bring you into the portfolio? I'll go. I'll go I'll... Well, I'm over here to, uh, and I'm over here to uh, make some headshots. I'm asking you, can you help me out do all that? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but you're talking to like, Geppetto. That's my boy. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then you say, do that. Say what? What do you want to say? All right, I'll say, oh, can you help me make some copies and I need to make some. Uh, no, problem, no problem. No problem. Here. Color all here in the. Okay, I need, I need, I need hundreds and white. Excellent. You okay? Please come again. <laughs> Jeremy and Pretzel. So, but what about Pedro? You're supposed to be dealing with Geppetto, not with Eric. Yet. Uh, no, I'm saying if you have one minute with Eric, what would you? Here, I'll, I'll play Geppetto. Right, hey, okay. what do you want? Hey, right, man. Uh, yeah, I just told your uh, your Rob your robot son. By the oh, my wait. son. So, uh, the thing is, it's like I want to uh, pay like five hundred dollars to make all of this. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. He said fifty. You call 50 my son a liar. Dollars. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not hearing correctly. Gamers are all the same <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll do it i'll do it here's Good. a here's a here's a fifty dollars and here's a little yeah, all right here's a little tip for your uh, robot friend there i mean you go. i mean your son i'm sorry you're supposed to give it to me not to him <laughs> i'm gonna put this in your robot savings that's what they all your say <laughs> toilet there you go some I, I real will, money will, will, right thank you very much tell a, tell a friend so yeah i was in a movie with eric roberts before really? beverly hills bandit i don't i don't know now or it was uh wasn't it like homie lo homie alone but then they changed <laughs> It to I love Beverly that. Hills <laughs> Bandit. Home Alone is Home so alone. much better. Why would you ever change that <laughs> they had, title? I think they had to change it. Oh, yeah, that, Home Alone was it's, too close. Uh, to, uh, too close to home. Mm, <laughs> that was uh, idea. Homey Alone. Oh, I love that. But they though. didn't. Someone didn't like it, so they had to change it. I think it's called Beverly Hills Bandit. I'm in it. Eric Robertson. Uh, uh, so you you remember his name? <laughs> yeah, Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Ron, Ron Jeremy. Jeremy. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That's oh a name I don't hear enough. It's one of those names. You for and they're like, oh, yeah. yeah. Clicks in the head. I remember that. <laughs> how did so it happen? How did you end up in a movie with Ron Jeremy? Yeah, uh, called me. I got the cast. The guy, Ron, and very nice. And it was uh, fun. So, what would you say to uh, Chipotle? What would your scene be if you? So, um, um, um if I want to be the imaginary friend, please, he's just looking at the shop door and it just opens and closes. And then immediately, you know, I just spring up from right next to him, like, hey, buddy, how you doing? Huh? I'm an imaginary friend. Friend. And boy, I just can't seem to find any good friends nowadays. I need about a thousand million copies so I can find my new best friend. 
and just plants a seed of like, God, I am lonely. Maybe I need a kid or something. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you build a robot? Man, well, I would build myself a friend out of <laughs> all these spare parts. <laughs> and then make them go against so you me can by make the end start. of the movie you and I'll save the battle. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe that's what he was building underneath. Oh, yeah, maybe. A friend. Friends like him. <laughs> the robot gang. The robot gang. So he won't feel lonely. <laughs> yeah. Women, men, all robots. Maybe he's trying to multiply. I don't know. Yeah, because, he, because he want to feel more human. Oh, fair enough, yes. Yeah. <laughs> when you, whenever I hear multiply, I'm just like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no yes, name. that one. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I think it would be interesting if the imaginary friend kind of planted the idea of son, or at least him just being alone. And then that kind of sparks uh, his inspiration. Man, I'm alone with all of this broken machinery and no one to talk about. <laughs> no one to talk about. I wish I had a friend. Come back! <laughs> Like, Still here! Inve imaginary friend, come back. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> I still love the concept of a hypnotist who accidentally hypnotizes him. And then he gold. thinks he's a robot too. Yeah. <laughs> he could be pretending he's Steve. He so a lot he's of things, Steve too. A lot of things he could be doing. To jail a lot faster. Exactly. <laughs> Geppetto goes to bail out uh, Steve and he bails out the wrong Steve. Wait, that's not my son. Who's yes, this? I am. Who's this? <laughs> Poster. <laughs> My son isn't real. I mean, he is, but you're not him. I thought you said he's a robot. <laughs> Let's do. Oh goodness. So yeah, that could uh, that could set the tone for it, and then um, uh, show the creation of the robot. Uh, don't you want to say Frankenstein? But um, I mean, that's I guess that's what you just Father. go to nowadays. <laughs> he could have like a couple of robot children that didn't work out, or like, and Steve is the one he settled on. He's like, well, I, good enough. I'll just take it. <laughs> Pieces I have, and I always wanted a father figure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just talks too much. She kept complaining. <laughs> buy me this, buy me that. <laughs> around. Clean up the house. Well, it, I it, thought it was a girl, but apparently it was a uh, non-binary. Felt a lot worse too. You gonna fill on? Uh, we have Vitali Versace on the phone. Hey man, you are live on a show. He hung up. All, All right. right. Versace is the director of we have the, the movie uh, uh, Beverly Hills Bandits. Beverly Hills Bandits. With nice. Eric Roberts, the Very one. Cool. Maybe he's listening and he, he yeah, saw the show. We are. Hey Siri, Versace. Small world. Why are you were watching us on YouTube? Then? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Make it possible. Make it real. Yeah. Telling me. Uh, hey, too you bad. You, you would have been great to be on a show and to share. Uh, okay. I know. Yeah, I know. Enough. I know. It's gonna be illegal. Had the licensing to Siri and everything. We uh, could just put the robot's voice as Siri's voice. Right. 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 <laughs> or Alexa's voice. <laughs> that was something. Okay. So I wanted to bring this up earlier. I forgot about it. Um. But like, it's telling him to do all the worst things in the world. Like no, you should kill them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, you know, that's another Terminator. thing we could do. I mean, like those those AIs are. Our AIs are already certified with the always download the narration. Or that you, would actually be a narration, a robot narrator. Or you can use, uh, you know, like uh, really when you have yeah, like Google yeah, Maps, turn yeah. right here, turn, turn right left here, here. Yeah. go straight. No, yeah. much, much, much better. Much, much, I know what you're talking about. Right. There's, there's a little thing, like there's a translator thing. Put out it. Use. What about in the certified. olden days? Remember, like uh, voice and they would. Oh, dance, those are uh, okay. Know? So I have looked into those, and uh, they're about three thousand dollars a minute. If oh you my want a good God. one, wow. I mean. To be fair, it's a it's a medical device for a person right. as a whole. So mm -hmm. I don't remember some songs they used to the. Oh yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, the, uh, back in it's the like a days? weird, right. it's like a weird thing that they stick in their mouth and wow, oh, okay. wow, wow, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Voice changer downloading that app. <laughs> but yeah, no, that would be great. Yeah. It all started. Man named Geppetto in a exactly. fax machine that one. Chain shop. If we if we <laughs> if we have to narrate with a robot voice, Steve was inside. all alone. World, yeah. world, world, <laughs> world, shutting down. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just a scene continues. <laughs> or all the voices, words, being this one from this, your own. Only the collage thing. Yeah. I think I mean, that would be like... too. Uh, I, oh, I like actually, it. Actually, you know what? Or, uh, yeah, yeah. And he uses all these different AIs just to make sure he gets the right. Yeah, or, you know, or mix it up or something. Beery or something. Beery. <laughs> the scene. Do you guys have dialogue with And sir? I'm working in the shop. I'm, I'm alive. All right. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm here to uh, make some copies. I want, like, you know, like, I want, like, Hundred copies of, and I want fifty copies of these, in, and I want it all stapled. Uh, will be dollars. Fifty dollars. Hey, uh -huh. you, I do. I go to the front counter. Pay me. I can no put. It, I can stick it in the machine. You put it on the counter. You put it. I give counter. you back the chain. Satisfied customer is our policy. <laughs> Problem. Have a all nice right. day. Here you go. Please tell Here a friend. And I got a five dollar tip. Thank for you for your much. robot. Thank I mean, you. I'm sorry, your friend. Your is son. Is this my invision? Invi my son. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. That's your son. I'm sorry, Rob. I mean, son. Thank you. Thank you. Father. Put this in your college fund. They all say yeah. to. Hollywood Park. 
Hey, let's talk more copies. Come on, come on. Boss. Something like that, I guess. Yeah. Then uh, for the imaginary... Uh, uh, or what happens if you pop up again, no? Wreck oh, yeah, you can pop again. back in at eight. Come on. You could be, mean, you can be my I'm imaginary real. friend, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. you could be. Oh, yeah. You could, you could do a little scene with So when he friend. comes back, getting more copies again. Doesn't he shoot me or something? I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I think I'm shopping. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> and then I could talk to you. Hi, I'm your imaginary friend. Oh, you're bleeding out. Wow. Am I really bleeding? No, 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 not bleeding out. You're leaking oh, oil. You're leaking. leaking. You're leaking oil. oil. <laughs> Is it reality or am I dreaming? <laughs> pop, pop. Yeah, it's not. You're not looking great, friend. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. Uh, I'm in trouble. I can't call help, for help. Help, 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 help. I'm not real. I can't call for help. Oh, no. What kind of friend are you? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. You know what? Die alone. Goodbye. <laughs> Hold my hand. Hold my hand. No one should die alone. <laughs> and a long. And, and then And comes then a in. long beep happens at the end. Beep. Okay, crap, you pulling. Oh, crap, you're dying. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can have all, and also a, a scene where he's walking in the hospital and he hears all those machines. Beep, 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 beep. beep, beep. beep. Oh, all these oh, robots. You could have a little screen on your chest running that little. <laughs> it's a frowny face and frowny, then just a dot, dot, frowny, dot. dot, 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 dot. <laughs> like, beep. Or oh, we could just like green screen that thing on there. <laughs> Battle back. <laughs> Need uh, battery. It would take too much time to make another. I'll just rebuild whatever. <laughs> Being alone. Better not complain as much this time. <laughs> it just takes out a piece of gum, sticks it in the hole. All right, it should be yeah. good. <laughs> How long did it take? I was like uh, around two years, something like this. But oh, it was wow. like uh, Corona prior. So. Subtract the Corona years. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a Corona ruined but, a lot uh, of But yeah, it was uh, fun, interesting. You got to check it out. Well, you guys like it? Induction. Yeah. So like so. I how did you do it? How did you, how did you put it together? Well, did you... I did different than uh, George. Okay. I actually, uh, I was writing the story with uh, Elias. So we were writing it together. So then when I had the script, so um, we just, uh, just uh, <laughs> no, no, we got it live. They came, they looked at the, you know, the okay. scene. Fashion filming. So you guys never never end up doing it. Right, 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 right. Oh, actually, you know what, tell you through this in my first. Same as with well. me. I never, I, I, uh, I this, is, this is a, this is a brand new experience for me. <laughs> so you, uh, when you're not acting, you do gaming. You said in general, or no? No, actually, I'm. Uh, I have a little small YouTube channel and a Twitch channel. Okay. I, mean, I just this as a I'm similar. common too. <laughs> Why related to the imaginary? <laughs> <laughs> not uh, good. <laughs> yeah. Because it's it's a, it's a it's a human nature, you know. Rather, than I absorb thrown into something that I absolutely know. Just having to just improvise. <laughs> yeah, no, that's dead serious. I've been doing improv for years, and yeah. that's my. And that's what we're doing right now. We're right. Yeah, right quite now. love being in the writers room so much yeah. because all it is it's just it's yeah. all just tell us tell uh, us more about um i mean like you said like you never did yeah. a podcast so like how, also, how did you end up also i do like the skits you know the show i was telling you before pretty real so uh yeah i mean um, first we i get the idea you know the script's very important storyline right. you know and uh yeah we also kind of like the scene so how many scene. how many how many did you cast how many actors did you cast or how many actors did you because i know we got 30 years right. right yeah i think i got 30 or so something 30 like this 28 oh. or something like that so how did you guys uh should i say mingle or talk some of you guys did everything um but like i said i've been doing this for 30 years yeah so okay. you keep their numbers and do one project from another place information you call them up hey i'm doing a scene you're interested in making a movie or a tv show time try to use like the same kind of people you know like uh, some other uh, yeah some, something big, like you're comfortable directors with, you know, some they use like the right same actors through. and stuff same actors, you know yeah. like uh Burton? tarantino <laughs> Tim Burton, you know so they used to needs to break you know uses a lot of actors yeah. because you know they're uh, used to it they know what they're getting out of right. them and, and you, know, you know, know how to work to, with them too. right and they enjoy them. each other's company um, yeah. you know yeah. the time yeah, nice. <laughs> listen so, I don't like you that's but you can be good it's part of life <laughs> yeah, you know and then you just uh, some people have more time so they could have bigger parts or right. smaller time you know so you have to talk to them and you have to see like look I'm making this project uh, how much time you have the idea is we're trying to film like this you know let's say it's a week twice a week you mm -hmm. know every Wednesday Thursday you know getting everyone's schedule and like getting the people here sometimes they didn't show up <laughs> sometimes they text you sometimes they don't even show up sometimes you talk to them you know the day before and then the next day they don't show up yeah they don't even call come on at least uh, uh, like, text have, you know? have the balls to say you're not gonna show up That's like it. it's not a big deal do the do the person the honor uh, if you're gonna at least lie. at least don't leave people hanging you know? yeah, yeah. other yeah. people are waiting around 10 too. people at a production thing you know yeah. <laughs> and it's like you can even lie 
headphones. I got a flat tire. Or, or, you know, run out of gas. Let the other person know. He could wrap it up and go home as well, rather than waiting there for three hours. Form of information yeah. so he can move on with your day. Really, I think that's the all thing that's is, The thing is that. But I'm not. You're not they'd rather really, drop themselves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they're not going to call them again. They're not yeah. really going to call some of the yeah, filming. Yeah. You know, and they don't even. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You don't want to deal I, with that. I have. I have. Right. Can't make it. I had to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I left, you. I left my glasses yesterday. I'm like, oh shoot! I left my glasses. I gotta go pick it up. I didn't even know I was supposed to do this. You know, I just happened to be here. Now, now you might leave your hat. You know, you come. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave my hat. <laughs> you're like that. You're like my crazy ex who's just like, oh, I left this over at your house. Guess I have to come back. <laughs> who's this girl? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this stuff happened, man. Like, I have, the whole night I was like, <laughs> uh, it was it was rough. I but have, you've worked. I have, I have to like a blind out. man. Like a blind man. Wow. <laughs> There's this. Uh, I, no, I can't see without my glasses. Wow. Tell you that some wow. people are like that. You know, like there was this one guy I was working with. It was for a, a short film. It was a Krampus short. It was he used auto, literally just shoving the screen. And I'm just like glasses instead. <laughs> right. Auto focus. He ruined one of my best shots. Wow. Because the camera zoomed out or not zoomed out, but unfocused and refocused in the middle of it. It wow. was the best damn take I had. Wow. Yeah. And I was just like, Ugh, just. Buddy. So you've been on some films, yeah? Yeah, I've been. So I, tell us about. Oh, films. You know, I did. I had any anything and so, front, uh, front but, ground uh, you mean forefront yeah like we, <laughs> are, <laughs> we are all like yeah speaking i mean i have for you mean i mean i had uh, i have a, i have a no. yeah any we, any did you do any independent films or student films or yeah student films <laughs> student films yeah there was one there was one we had a little okay how was that uh, all right okay. or something. how was it how was the filming it come uh, out good oh wow yeah. oh very cool yeah, Hell yeah. jeremy what about you some uh, films um sure um okay. i was doing a lot of extra work for the, the TV show uh, Winning Time. Right. We Laker. don't really talk about Exile. I was oh, just yeah. trying to say, guys. Um, <laughs> the uh, landlord role on a new TV series on Amazon called okay. Frontman. So um, how was it when you got on the set and stuff? Oh, it was fun. It was very okay. nice. Uh, everyone was super nice. Uh, yeah, right. we're going to like the most expensive place you can think of. What do you want? So, <laughs> someone was telling me um, they used to have like food. That's oh, right. Yeah. They're eating it. a lot. Gain weight. Oh, yeah. Right, George? Remember? I've never done that. <laughs> Gain weight. Speaking of, we, we talked about that yesterday, too, on our podcast yesterday. Yesterday too, we would I would be talking about food, how good and bad it is sometimes. So, you know? uh, yeah. Let me tell you this: when I was filming, um, so we were doing um, the Wizard of Oz TV yeah. show, movies like really like season two. So when I was filming the Wizard of Oz the show, I didn't I don't have budget, so I was trying to use what I can, you know? Yeah. yeah. I had candies, I, like this was like wow gourmet. So the act, one of the actors on the show, I won't say his name, her name. The, they're like, hey man, what about some food? Some uh, bell. <laughs> I'm like, man, you're only here for two hours, three hours. Yeah, yeah. You know? This is a film I, on budget, bro. I, you know, <laughs> but in my earlier film, my first film, Blood Stains the Ground, um, I had actually a budget. So I actually did have food and I had like Subway sometime. I ordered Subway. Oh, nice. So it was nice. It's nice to have food. Oh, yeah. Giving them yeah. Uh, some I mean, like, I've been, I've been on a full. So now my stuff. problem is fun, no money, no food, you know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I just try not to film so long. Yeah, you yeah. I try to film like four hours. Yeah, so condense they don't get so, it. So they don't get so hungry you know? yeah <laughs> then they start saying well, come on, hey man, man it's eight hours you want some food pizza yeah. jack in a box you know so it's embarrassing when you know i got water <laughs> so yeah you know people listening to help out I, uh, there was a, we, should, um, we should have a donation he <laughs> paid me in rice krispie treats he just gave me a box of rice krispie treats I'm like, at least you got something <laughs> some of, some of my actors actors don't get anything yeah no i, I mean they I'm make still it. eating away at that box it was, it was like one of those giant ones all right like, yeah all right <laughs> i'll take it sure. i got m&ms <laughs> yeah. i am a simple person Snickers. i do not need much to be entertained right like yeah. i I'm in this business, you know, I realize I'm never going to make money here. I'm never going to be, you know, I'm never going to, you know, shoot for the stars or anything like that. But really, I realize I'm never going to make money, but you don't need money when you're having a good time. Right. Yeah, hopefully you meet uh, good people. Yeah, you know? still looking. No, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Yeah, Thank I got you, you back. Much. We yeah, got I... the point. We got it. We understand. <laughs> So yeah, so maybe you guys uh, will come on my show on the, we could do some skits yeah, or my yeah. film on the new film or yeah, something yeah, if you're interested. Give me my number. So. I'll, get, I'll get it from you. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I feel like a Just fool. call me I'm up a... and just okay. tell me I'm the guy on the... Yeah, oh, yeah I shot you an email. Thank you, Joe. Already. Okay. All right. Yeah, I feel like a fool. I left all my business cards at home. I'm it's like, okay. I'm God. teaching you guys. We're here in a print shop. So. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> you can see more on Head Smells Puppies on Instagram.com. So let me ask you this. You said you started clown to film. Um. So 
I've been a clown for about nine years. Um, so how did you get into the clown? Let's start with that. <laughs> um, I started out at a uh, not scary. Farm. He's All like, right. hey, dude, you'd be like a really great clown over there. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, sure. I auditioned. I landed the part instantly. And then um, I Wait, just hold there. on one sec. So when the guy told you you'd be a great clown, how did you feel when you heard that? Were you? I mean, I sometimes, already, sometimes, sometimes people were you get happy? Offensive, offended. Right. That's what I'm asking. Oh, you, no. How did you feel? They got hurt. You're not I've been a funny guy my entire life. And <laughs> I, I was kind of pissed at myself for never considering a clown before. So hey, like, better late than never, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh my god, he's you right. I am of, a clown. Sense of humor as a as a clown. Then. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 good. Well, I've been so, doing like I uh, for like Halloween and stuff like okay. years before because very self destructive. I didn't accept myself. I didn't right. like. So I didn't want to act or do anything. Eventually, the clowning helped me really open myself up to the concept okay. of just acting professionally, myself out there. The um the turning point for me was um after I joined the circus while I was traveling. With realized this is like this is um there's um two things of coke right you have mm. uh coca cola you have right. two things of coca cola right here pepsi and cola or uh no just two things of coke my right it's a little bit warm and a little bit flat and a little bit watered down it's like this is a good coke i enjoy this coke right. to that realization once All but right. okay. um, you know to leave and how was the people on the circus <laughs> I absolutely love them. Okay. I really right. do. Okay. Um, I was one of three people that spoke English, and right. um, <laughs> I didn't learn any Spanish. I just right. got way better at pantomiming. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. Some things don't register and stick in my so brain. So you couldn't get the language? I, I just couldn't. I tried for a little bit, and I'm just like, Ugh, whatever. I'll just, you know, use exaggerated was expressions. Was the circus in Me Mexico? or? Uh, no, no. It was okay. um, it was traveling through the U.S. Okay. It's actually a, f um, it started in, they uh, have multiple circuses. He's Opa. traveling through America. And, uh, yeah, the one I was a part of was Paranormal Cirque. It's a uh, 18 and over circus. All right. So I did front gate barking and stand up comedy. Right. Uh, it's so great to roast people you don't know from different <laughs> states. <laughs> and oh my God, so right. I had way more fun. <laughs> so Gagin, what about you? How did you get into the film business? I mean, like somehow, like I, I always, I always had a thing of acting. Okay. You know? like, I mean, like. And where are you from? Uh, Bay Area. Is that like San Francisco? Yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. All right. San Francisco, San Jose mm -hmm. area. So like. I was like, you know what? I somehow I got in. How I so? How did you start? Okay, I'm gonna class. What What did you do? It started. What was the first step. You know, it's really weird. Right. <laughs> started off with a drama class in high school. Okay. Which I ended up dropping. All right. You know, I, yeah. Well, well, some people don't. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. You just say sitting home, slacking off, just turning on. The you started a class. Uh, how old were you around then when you started? Then one thing led to another. I I was like you started doing commercials and stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Really so I'm, what made you come to Los Angeles? Because I had enough my resume. And and I that I was gonna be doing this. So you see a difference or oh, no it is difference, a difference yet? There's so much oh, difference. Okay, all right. You see, you feel, yeah, and uh, you know, like I mean, like for circus, and one thing led to another. Writer, and now, now I'm. Working. So how long you been here in Los uh, Angeles? In Los Angeles, I would say like two and a half. Okay, or it's the same process in Southern California. You know, in like North all, California, you mean? Uh, excuse me, Northern right, California. Right. You know, my resume in San Francisco Bay Area. I used to. So is it, it is it time. easier here or get much, a it's job? Much, it's much tougher for here. Tougher here. Oh, okay. Actually, it was even more tougher commute. Wow. And how long would you stay? For a week or four days? Or? I stayed, the longest I stayed for one gig was... The shortest? Shortest gig. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So that, that was the shortest. That was, that that was, was the shortest. That, one that, day. that was wow. the... I mean, I was like, you know what? I know because all here right now... Um, Gotta go for the gold. Gold. Right, that's right. what we are we all here for, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's what doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, no. that's how that's how it all started and it's going with, with me. Thing is good. Now I'm uh, so realized something. I got uh, camera goal is to just put my name in everyone's mouth thing with improv but we are improving right now too so like the, the when i film for yeah. example time i usually know the scene what's going on tell the actors we got to. to me when i get someone who uh they try to memorize the line i think it's just the word oh, but no, it's not no, just the no, words no, it's the execution so they get tied up on the the words yeah they say it so clearly and so nice but it's not natural tell them look and then i see it's more natural it's as more long themselves as, can, as long bit. as they can get from point a to point conversation it's fine most of the time it works yeah <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it yeah. doesn't. It's sometimes like, it doesn't. It's like, yeah. it's just, it's sometimes some actors they need the lines. Just, they need like, the they need direction. The Forget direction. about the lines. See how it happens. What? <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. Now I want you all to pretend you're on the moon, <laughs> and this guy has all the oxygen. Left. <laughs> <laughs> how can we do that? <laughs> so yeah. So I think when you do improv, listen. You more you're you're more I, in the uh, moment. The you know what I mean? Is um fear about messing up right. because no one expects improv to be perfect. Where I feel so comfortable in it because I can make mistakes. 
mistakes in improv. Right, that's right, fine. If right, I make right, right. you only have so many takes before you have to move on to the next scene. Right. That's solidified. Boarding, no problem. Right. Just know what if it wasn't great, who cares? Right, Try again have another later. take. Get a different yeah, take. Get exactly. A, different a lot less frightening than just standing in front of a camera and just uh, rehearsing lines. Right. Tell you a little bit kind of freeze I mean, the people. Learning yeah, lines yeah. is a oh, Yeah, but some people don't yeah, get it. People, people they think care, it's yeah. like also all about the words or oh I look good, great actor or actress, yeah. you know. That's how it is to me. Each right. everyone's got their it's the worst. Oh my god, I hate them. The viewer. I do one or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's screen enough up. internet for one day. <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> no! I've never lost so many subscribers in one day. <laughs> clown over here. Who is this clown? Well, you're accurate. <laughs> Who brought this clown on the set? I did. Me. I brought myself. <laughs> drove myself. I'm a big boy. <laughs> Mom didn't drive me this time. I did it. And I put on my own seatbelt, too. <laughs> moving up in this world. Clown on set. I can't believe it. <laughs> the only thing I could juggle is my. <laughs> well, anything else? Yeah. yeah. I Kinda ate some like... cookies, drank some water. I feel accomplished here. More biscuits? Any yes. Biscuits? Oh, biscuits, yes. We like, do we sign off or do, do we, we sign off or do we say goodbye or how? Do we like just so wait? Like, turn it off? No, you, you, all, all right, right. guys. Yeah, guys. Thank you so oh, much for listening. That's Hope all you guys the time enjoyed. we have today. And we'll Please guys... remember to like, subscribe, maybe, like, maybe, subscribe, but try little. liking and subscribing too. <laughs> oh, we want me to do this. Where is that? Hold on, we're not leaving just yet. Bonus time. Bonus. There you go. Bonus time. Cast Beverly Hills 90211 Drama are all available robot <laughs> character in the human world adds a unique twist story face relatable story falls There's also actual telling direction overall a activating taming movie Boy, that was amazing <laughs> i was there i'll try to make a little joke <laughs> shut down